Dear scientists, in this video you will get a deep understanding of the paclitaxel's structure, function, and resistance. Subscribe to stay updated on cancer biology. We divided the details on two levels, beginner and intermediate. Let's start with the beginner level. Paclitaxel is one of the chemotherapies used to treat cancer patients. Cancer cells are mutated cells that are constantly dividing, and paclitaxel is uptaken by these cells, leading to their death. Now let's move to the structure. First of all, taxol is just the brand name of paclitaxel, but they are the exact same thing. Paclitaxel has a big and hydrophobic structure that allows it to enter and penetrate the cancer cell. Inside the cancer cell, paclitaxel meets a protein that can readily assemble and disassemble. This protein is called a microtubule, which can grab and move the chromosomes during the cell division. Excuse me in advance, but you can imagine it as a plunger that's fixed or anchored to a certain point, and the plunger can be extended or contracted based on the cell need. Now let's see the function of paclitaxel on the microtubule. Paclitaxel is designed to bind to the assembled microtubules, preventing them from the disassembly. Let's see how their function will appear under the microscope. During the normal mitosis, there are two centers which make the microtubules. Each center is called a centriole. These centers radiate microtubules which extend to grab the chromosomes from both sides and align them to the middle of the cell. When the chromosomes are aligned, the cell allows the separation of chromosomes into two chromatids and the division of one cell into two daughter cells. On the other hand, paclitaxel presence lead to an abnormal mitosis as follows. When paclitaxel binds to the microtubules connected to the chromosomes, it binds firmly with them, preventing the pulling of the chromosomes. Therefore, the chromosomes will not be able to align in the middle of the cell that will eventually lead to a mitotic arrest causing the cell death. Now you've finished the first level. If you find the content exceptional, don't forget to hit the like button so that we can reach other cancer researchers. Let's move to the intermediate level. We will give you the important details on paclitaxel and the microtubules that will help you understand any article. Paclitaxel is a huge compound with a 47 carbon. It's huge to the degree that the National Cancer Institute was unable to afford the expenses of its synthesis. For our drug designers, you can check the SAR of the compound, it will be more than enough. Regarding the microtubule structure, a microtubule is composed of two subunits, alpha and beta. They assemble as shown layer by layer in a process called microtubule polymerization by which they can push the chromosomes. On the other hand, microtubules can undergo a depolymerization state in which they peel off from the center and by which they can pull the chromosomes. As you can see, paclitaxel binds only to the beta subunit, inhibiting the depolymerization process. Let's check some brief details in the function. Although scientists saw how paclitaxel killed the cancer cell in the petri dish, they discovered that paclitaxel showed another mechanism in the human body. When a patient receives an intravenous injection of paclitaxel, the drug travels through the bloodstream, reaching the capillaries from which it diffuses out. In comparison with the petri dish, in which paclitaxel is directly administered to the cells, a difference of effective concentration was observed. This difference in concentration led to the formation of more than two centrioles in a phenomenon called multipolar spindles. This phenomenon will lead to an abnormal division, resulting in three cells 
However, this unequivalent distribution of chromosomes will induce the cell death by apoptosis. Now let's move to the mechanisms by which cancer cells can resist the paclitaxel. The first mechanism is the beta subunit mutation. This mutated version of beta subunit does not firmly bind with paclitaxel. The second type of resistance is through the excretion of paclitaxel out of the cell via the upregulation of a transporter called ABC transporter. We finished the resistance. A final important information Paclitaxel can be conjugated to an albumin protein to increase its solubility in the blood. You will find this conjugation under the name of NAB Paclitaxel. Congratulations, you have successfully finished the two cycles of Paclitaxel. If you are interested in cancer research and you want to have a background on cancer biology, always check in the description for a course that will be available on August 2023. And for now, what do you think which is more effective? Paclitaxel or the Vinca alkaloids?